Well, some Crawford County parents are suing the library system for, quote, unlawful censorship of materials in the county libraries, stating that it goes against the First Amendment. I can't tell you how much money I have to spend <laughs> on books and curriculum homeschooling. They say you can learn just about anything if you open a book. And mom of four, Samantha Rawlett, says that statement's true. We are at the library at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Um, we love our librarians. But now she, along with other moms, are suing over the relocation of LGBTQ plus books made for children to the adult section. And there were over 240 books. Removed. The 11-page lawsuit is against the Crawford County Judge, Quorum Court, Interim Library Director, and Library Board. We reached out for a comment. One Quorum Court member responded saying they can't comment because of the pending lawsuit. It's not the librarian's job to say what's appropriate for my child. It's not the Quorum Court's job to predetermine that all these topics were not appropriate for my child. That is my right as a parent. Parent Rebecca Verdon is a librarian herself, and she says this is wrong. During the Crawford County's January Quorum Court meeting, several people spoke for and against banning children's LGBTQ plus books in public libraries. Now, one of those people were Julie Eversole. I do not want our children, grandchildren, seeing these books. I feel they're damaging psychologically. And I feel like our children are losing their innocence. Some of these books are, they obviously have, you know, two moms or two dads. Some of these books have children with disabilities. Some of them are just about activism. Just hoping out of this, books go back where they should be. Rawlett, who you just heard from, said that she would like to see members of the library board be replaced. And by the way, all of this comes after the Fayetteville Public Library voted to join the Central Arkansas Library Systems in a potential lawsuit challenging Act 372. Now, that's a law that broadens who can call library material obscene and allows punishment if someone is caught giving that content to minors.